SIFIT presents quick physio tips with this guy. Hey guys, my name is Eric Wood Solomon. I'm a physiotherapist and the owner of Physio Fitness Cambridge and CrossFit Rebuild, and we're bringing you quick physio tips. So I got another question for you. Sure. So when I do things, right, I kind of do them to extreme. So, you know, we met uh, a few weeks ago and you talked about, you know, just obviously being a boxer for so many years, my shoulders get rounded forward. So I started, you know, bringing them back a little bit and I kind of walk like this. And my wife looks at me and goes like, you look ridiculous. And I'm like, yeah, but uh, see me in 10, 15 years, man. And uh, I'm gonna be like, so I don't know exactly why. You didn't really explain to me why, but I know that you're a smart guy. So you said to do it, so I started doing it. Can you explain to me why I should be like this? Sure, so what we wanna be doing, especially for athletes, but really for anyone, we wanna be optimizing body position. And what we wanna be using is, is joint and spine sparing movements and positions. So most of the day, uh, while we're upright, while we're sitting, we're doing something with our bodies. Uh, what I try to encourage people to do is, is, is have active posture, which means that you're aware of and you're thinking about your position and movement. And when you do that, you avoid basically mechanical pain and joint dysfunction. So a lot of times, so this, this position is looking good. So the, the only tweak we would, we would really make, um, so if you look at Sid's feet, he's kind of in this sort of like duck foot sort of stance. We want to bring those guys back into parallel as long as that's not causing any hip pain or discomfort. Uh, the second piece, a lot of people will stand with their knees hyperextended. So a really common posture I see uh, is that people are sort of hanging off their knees, they're hanging off their hips, and they're slouching forward. Mm -hmm. So what happens in this position, none of my muscles are working right now. I'm hanging off my knee joint, I'm hanging off my hip joint, and then I'm hanging off my upper back um, and the muscles behind my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Good position is active. So you have a slight knee bend. What, you want, what happens basically with the knees? If I hyperextend my knees, my, my muscles turn off, my quads turn off, but when I bend them, you see them, they turn back on. What's happening? What's quad, happening? Qu quad cam. <laughs> Did you see those quads? It's ridiculous. Put that back on the quad cam. Get that on tape. All right. So what happens um, when I turn off the muscles around the joint, all that load is on passive tissues. So I'm compressing the bone at the front of my, my knee. I'm compressing the meniscus, which is a soft tissue between the joint. And all that load will damage those tissues over time. So people will do that over and over and over for hours and hours and hours, and they, they prematurely wear out their tissues. The problem is they then bring that stuff into the gym with them, and they start loading it with additional weight, and basically it pushes all the problems to the surface. So mm -hmm. when you correct your posture during your, your usual day, mm -hmm. you're building capacity for the stuff that you actually want to do and that you love doing, which is boxing, fitness, whatever, right? Right. So let me give you a quick rundown of, of good active standing posture. So number one, you want your feet parallel to each other and approximately underneath your hips, okay? So Sid's maybe a little wide, but that's okay. A little, little bit of swagger, that's all right. So we're gonna bend the knees slightly. So the cue I give is just soft knees. It doesn't have to be, we're not squatting down. All you want is just, just soft knees. Um, and then we're moving up to the chest and shoulders. We're gonna bring the chest up, shoulders are back. Middle fingers at the seam of the pants. That's the benchmark. And again, you want your head. So Sid's head is still maybe a little bit forward. Let me have you pull your head back a little bit, Sid. So we're gonna come back right. a little bit and get tall. Tall, 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 oh, tall. Gosh, right. And then tuck the chin, bam, right there. So his ear shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, straight line up and down. So now what's happening is his body weight and musculature is balanced around neutral spine. The minute he tips his head forward, tips his shoulders forward, he's now increasing the load in his lumbar spine. He's increasing his thoracic kyphosis, which is that bend in your mid back. Uh -huh. Again, he's throwing off that length tension in relationship with his abdominal musculature, which gives less support to the low back. I can keep listing things off, but you did the right thing. You listened to me. Awesome. Uh, the trick though is that this is the position you want to be in during the day. It's going to spare and save up capacity for when you need it. All right. So uh, do you think I look ridiculous? Be careful. We're, we're the, the ring's right behind us. Do you hey, think you look strong. You look fit, <laughs> but you just got, you got to relax a little bit. You can be in, you can be in good position uh, and not stand like a, like a soldier. <laughs> Stay fit, get healthy at uh, CrossFitRebuild.com. If you guys need help with any of this stuff, you thought, hey, this, this has helped me, but I want some more, feel free to give us a shove. We'll get you going with an initial assessment and some treatment. Perfect. For your, all your fitness needs, check us out at sipfithealth.ca. Sip <laughs> <laughs> Outro. <laughs>